Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today we are doing a easy, very tasty, hearty hash brown casserole. It has Monterey Jack cheese, ham cubes, broccoli, lots of seasoning and flavor. I'm going to put all of the ingredients and the directions in the description below. This is a great recipe for a weekend brunch, like Sunday family get together for breakfast or brunch. Um, we are going to do this for morning breakfast, like leftover consecutive breakfast, kind of a meal prep thing for our family. I am starting with one bag of hash browns. This particular hash brown is cubed. You could use the regular shredded style. Um, they are frozen. This one has peppers and onions in it. Feel free to use the plain kind if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and add in half of a diced onion. And I'm going to add in my broccoli florets. This is a great recipe for if you have leftover hash browns, you got leftover broccoli, leftover ham. The broccoli adds some good health to your casserole. Get those greens in there. I'm going to kind of gently mix this together here a little bit. It's a great way to break up any chunks of hash browns that might still be frozen together. I actually did let mine sit out and thaw for about an hour. Okay. I am going to grab sour cream. We're going to do about three fourths of a cup. I'm not going to actually measure. Just gonna grab my spoon here. That's maybe half a cup. There we go. We are gonna add in some minced garlic here. About one tablespoon or so. I'm gonna grab some parsley. I want to do about a tablespoon or so of parsley and this is optional you could use regular salt and pepper if you would like we happen to love Lowry's seasoned salt on our uh, breakfast potatoes so I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in as well it adds great seasoning okay we're gonna kind of mix this in a little bit start getting that garlic and seasoning worked in. If you're looking for some other hash ways to use hash browns, um, I've got a plain ham and cheese hash brown casserole that's pretty good. Okay, we are gonna set this aside. Oh, I forgot, let's add in our ham cubes quick. I'm just gonna add this rest of the bag in this may be three-fourths of a cup feel free to add more if you would like this is what I had left over we did some ham salad let's mix this in here and I didn't use up all the ham cubes for our ham salad so I'll link to that recipe too gosh I love ham salad egg salad so good okay let's scoot this to the side here I'm gonna grab a smaller bowl now this recipe traditionally calls for a whole dozen eggs. However, I'm a little low on eggs and I'm making a strawberry cake later. Uh, so I need to save some of my eggs. I'm only going to use, oh, maybe 10 of the eggs instead of 12. And I am using uh, farm fresh eggs. And so um, I'm a pretty good, I bake all the time. I'm pretty good at cracking my eggs. But um, if you are using... I have started cracking my eggs here and the reason why I'm using a separate bowl I'm pretty good at cracking my eggs I'm not really worried about shell pieces but I'm using farm fresh eggs you never know with the farm fresh ones so I use a separate bowl from whatever my main mixing bowl is that 
That's five eggs, five more to go. Ooh, that one cracked real easy. There's nine eggs. I will link to my breakfast playlist for you guys. All sorts of easy make ahead breakfast, family friendly. They make great brunch recipes as well. Okay, there's our 10 eggs. I'm gonna give these a nice little whisk here. right we are going to add in about three-fourths cup of milk to our eggs this helps your eggs get kind of fluffy mix this in here if you don't have hash browns you could totally make a scrambled egg skillet with the ham and the onion and the broccoli I've got a couple of scrambled egg recipes for you you can check those out. Y'all be sure to subscribe so you can hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time we have a new recipe up on the channel. I do a few every week. You can also head over to Pinterest in the Kitchen with Grace 1 where you can save and pin all of our recipes, make your meal planning easier. Alrighty. So I am going to go ahead and add our pepper jack cheese. About two cups of pepper jack cheese. Mix this in here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna grab some sharp cheddar cheese. And about two cups of that as well. All right, we're gonna mix in the cheddar cheese. If you want to, you can save some of the cheddar cheese to put on the top. You're gonna want a big casserole baking dish. This makes a lot. Again, we're doing this for breakfast meal prep for the week. Okay. And I am going to grab my baking dish and I am gonna pour my hash brown mixture right on in. Spread this around evenly. My oven is preheating to 425 degrees. I'm gonna bake mine a little quicker today. Um, if you're gonna do 400, 425 degrees, it's probably only gonna take about 20 minutes or so to be fully cooked. Again, we're using eggs, so you wanna make sure your eggs are fully cooked. You can cook it slower at 350 or 375 degrees, but it'll probably take a good 30, 35 minutes to bake. I'm going to pour my scrambled egg mixture right over the top. You wanna let it kind of fill in all the cracks, the crevices. There's one egg here that didn't quite get scrambled. And again, I'm using two less eggs than I normally would. Perfect. And your eggs will kind of seep and soak down in and cook into your casserole. Again, if you would like to, you can totally add on just a little bit extra shredded cheddar. Yum, so good. Okay, we are gonna go put this in the oven. I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's all ready to serve. Our Monterey Jack hash brown casserole is all done. I am going to enjoy a nice bowl of it for brunch. I'm gonna go add some hot sauce to this. 
that is delicious. If you love to add a little heat to your casseroles, thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, be sure to save and pin that recipe. The link will be in the description for you. And thank you so much for sharing our recipes with your family and friends. You're wondering what this is over here. It is a strawberry tex Texas sheet cake that we're going to have for dessert this week. I got the strawberries cooling down for the frosting. I'm so excited for that dessert. It's been sounding so good. All right, you guys, we will see you all next time.